How you see overall your performance today? Well, um, I've been working very hard on my game. Um, you know, um, wanting to succeed and do the best that I can for the team. Anissa, Anissa, I, I know. You are the most senior player in the team, and I think you're visiting second time to Pakistan. How you see? Um, I'm really happy to be able to come back here in Pakistan and play cricket. Um, the experience is good, just as back in 2015, 15 years ago. And as I said, I'm one of the most senior players on the team, and I'm really happy to be given the opportunity to play 100 T20 matches and represent my country. And you said, what about the playing condition, atmosphere, crowd, food, etc., etc.? Um, the atmosphere is what we expected. It's similar to when we played in Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, India. So we kind of used to these conditions. We kind of have pitches like these back home in some of the islands where the pitches will turn a lot. So we're prepared for these conditions. Um, <laughs> I'm not even Muslim, I was media officer is also Muslim. Um, no, all the players, they respect me, they respect my religion. Um, to be able to play 100 matches, as you ask, um, it was a bit challenging. You know, you're getting older, your body can't do the things you could have done when you were younger. So it was a challenge, but I enjoyed the journey. With the already one up in the series, how you look forward uh, to the remaining matches of the series? Are you looking forward to three what? Uh, three zero? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> definitely, we came here to win all six matches, three matches in Pakistan, three in Dubai. We off to the right start, and we're looking forward to winning all next five matches. Last question. Anisa, did you notice any change? Uh, because we last played in 2004 in Karachi and now we are coming back after 15 years in Karachi and played against Pakistan. Any changes, any uh, technique difference between uh, in Pakistan women's team? Back 15 years ago and playing now, it's a totally different team. None of the players played when I was here in 2004. So yeah, it is a different team and the team is a lot is a lot different from back then. start to create some pressure on people. But if we don't have them, what international credit are they playing? Domestic credit. So we drag them out of state bank or ZTVL and then put them in international credit and guess what happens? That. You, you can, if you're talking about senior players, let's get rid of them. But we need people to take their place. And that's the issue that we have at the moment. But I know that the PCB are working on that and I think there are plans coming up. But until, until we build a base of players that can play international cricket, then we, you know, it's just really hard. Last question. Uh, Cole, uh, let me con you to get an amount for the labor who lost their life in uh, necessary to achieve you to get an issue. So, mm. right, uh, that, uh, I have two questions. Uh, firstly, uh, do you think that uh, Sidram Mahal's position is justified in the team? Because he is not adding the runs in G20. Yes, sorry, she 
she is not adding the runs in T20, her uh, highest total is 30. If your keeper cannot add the scores, how you can uh, uh, convert the total into a high score? Yeah, Sidra's not there for a batting. You know, that's why she's batting at nine. She's there for a keeper, and she is a very good wicket keeper. And we've got to remember that first and foremost. Our batters have to do the job. And she's there as a wicket keeper. She's almost there, I guess, as, a, as like a fast bowler would be. We don't expect our fast bowlers to get the runs. We expect our batters to get the runs. So I think we just need to make sure that when we criticise Sidra, that we understand what is her keeping skills like. And I think, to be honest, She's one of the top three in the world. She's a very good wicket keeper. We can't expect her to get runs. She's only the, the cream on the top when she comes in at nine or 10. Um, so uh, yeah, I can, I can sort of see what you're saying, but at the end of the day, she shouldn't be scoring runs. She should be just there, not out 10 at the end, or not out five at the end, or whatever it might be. The batters have got to take some responsibility. Yeah, well, exactly. And, and, and two of the catches today were disappointing. Um, especially Dalton. That cost us. I think we dropped one in the fourth over and one in the 13th over. Um, and so it's, yeah, it's very disappointing. We've got a very disappointed group out there. And they should be. Um, and I keep using the word disappointed. I, I'm just grumpy at the moment. It's unacceptable and, and it's disappointing. I am really spoken. And again, if, if we do, is that we, we've got a game tomorrow. We've got a game in less than 24 hours. I think we start at 10 o'clock tomorrow. And we just need to turn ourselves around and, and think about the small positive.